Take your knees nice and wide on your mat or on your floor or carpet rug, and then sit your hips back towards your heels. Walk your hands out, and first really just think about pressing your hips back, and then settle your hips down, and lower your forehead onto the mat. Let your arms be heavy. Let your forehead sort of just melt into the mat. Really just settle into your child's pose, settle into the space around you. <clears throat> Allow your eyes to be closed so we can cut off from some, some of the external stimulation. And just begin to focus and bring awareness and attention to your breath. So really feeling that you're breathing. With every inhale, feel your belly expand, your ribcage widen. And every exhale, feel lighter. Inhale, fill up. And exhale, empty out. all the way down the length of your spine towards your pelvis, feeling expansive, take this moment to set any intentions for your practice. You can set an intention and that could be something like a dedication or devotion or just like a simple motive or mantra. And we'll take a couple of collective clearing breaths together. Deep inhale through your nose. And exhale, side out. Deep inhale through your nose. Exhale, let it go. One more time together. Deep inhale through your nose. Exhale, release. And then your next inhale will make our way right into a tabletop position. So come up on the hands and knees. Stack your shoulders over your wrists and your hips over your knees. You can keep your feet flat or you can tuck your toes underneath you. And we'll just take some circles here. Just moving in, in circles, shoulders, kind of moving around the hands. Warming up the wrists. And just feeling the, the weight distribution across your hands. So you come onto the pinky side edge, the fingertips, the thumb side edge, the base of your palms, and then take it in the opposite direction. So just beginning to create awareness in the hands and wrists. Pause in the center, turn your fingers out to the sides, and then just sort of sway side to side here. You can lift up one hand as you come to the other side. Just feeling a slight rhythm. And then from here, pause again, turn your fingers back. So your fingers point towards your knees, and then just rock forward and back a couple times. Maybe even taking a pause on the, on the back and just feeling the stretch in your forearm and your wrist. Again, not looking for too much sensation and especially not any pain. So we're just waking up the wrists, waking up the forearms. And then turn your fingers back to normal. So fingers point forward and then on an inhale. So breathe in, lift your heart through your shoulders, lift your tailbone up behind you and arch your entire back body. 
On the exhale, you round your back, tuck your chin in towards your chest, tuck your tailbone underneath you, and bring your belly button up towards your spine and the middle of your back up towards the ceiling. Inhale, cow pose. And exhale, cat pose. Connecting breath with movement. So you're inhaling through your nose and you're exhaling through your nose. That's ujjayi breathing. I know that the, the more powerful um, you breathe, the more heat you'll build internally. So you might even begin to start to sweat here, just, just through your breath, really. Creating a nice sense of awakening through the spine. And maybe you get a little bit creative and funky here, and it turns into like a spiraling cat-cow. Keep moving through the spine. You can stay with the traditional cat cow as well. Also totally fine. Or maybe you even add circles to your cat cow. And then pause, sit back onto your heels with your toes rubbed under. So wrap all 10 toes under. Sit up nice and tall here for a moment. This is a nice, really nice stretch for the feet. You'll start to feel it in probably about 10 seconds. Um, but just stay here for a moment. And now take your arms up and overhead. Press your palms up, interlace your fingers. Press equally through the thumb side edge and the pinky side edges of your hands. Inhale to reach. Exhale, twist your torso towards the right. Inhale, come through the center. Exhale towards the left. Inhale, center, one more round. Exhale to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale towards the left. Inhale, center. Pull your arms down, bring your hands back to the tabletop. We'll take a little bit of a shorter stance to walk your knees in just a bit. Press the tops of your feet down into the mat. Round your upper back, so really press down through your thumbs to lift the space between your shoulders and then hover your knees two inches off the floor. So we'll begin to bring some activation into the body here. We hold for seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower your knees, sit back onto your heels with your toes curled under, interlace your hands behind your back. Reach your hands back, lift your heart high, lift your chin, breathe in. And then exhale, release, hands come right back to the short table. Press the tops of your feet down. Lift your knees two inches off the floor, round your back. Bring your right knee to your right forearm. Press it into your forearm. Keep your back rounded. We're here for five, four, three, two, one. Release and switch sides. Left knee, left forearm. Five, four, three, two, one. Release. Sit back onto your heels. Tuck your toes under. Interlace your hands with the opposite thumb on top. So whichever thumb usually goes on top, switch it up. Reach back. Lift your heart. Press your palms together, allow your shoulders to peel open, and then exhale, release, hands come right back, two more rounds just like this, flip your feet, press the tops of your feet down, round your upper back body, tuck your chin, lift your knees, right knee, right collar, uh, right knee, right forearm for five, four, three, two, one, now right knee in towards your chest, your collarbone for five, four, three, Two, one, release, lower your knees down, just move through one round of the cat-cow, so inhale, draw your heart forward and through, and then exhale, round, keep the rounding shape, press the tops of your feet down, lift your knees two inches, left knee, left forearm, five, four, three, two, one, left knee, left collarbone, five, four, three, two, one, release. Sit back onto your heels with your toes curled under. This time we change it up a little bit. This is like the teacups in Tai Chi. So your palms are face up, right by your sides. We'll start off with the right arm. So the right hand, with the right hand, we bring the hand in towards your body, and we're gonna go uh, internal rotation through the shoulder, and then bring your hand back behind you. Extend the arm out, and then up and overhead, and wrap it back to the starting position. So small circle in, big circle out, and overhead. 
small circle in, big circle out, overhead. Imagine you're holding a teacup in your hand, so try not to flip it over. You don't want to drop the teacup. And eventually, once you're feeling confident in this, you can practice this with a teacup in your hand, or just a book or a block or something like that. Pause on the right, take it on the left. So left hand comes in towards your body, small circle in, big circle out, overhead again. Keep your palm face up the entire time. Should feel really nice for your shoulders. You could also begin to sort of add the side body, add the hips in a little bit. And then release. We'll come back to that tabletop position for one more round here. Walk your knees in a bit. Press the tops of your feet down. Lift your knees up. Right knee, right forearm for five, four, three, two, one. Right knee, right collarbone. Five, four, three, two, one. Extend your right leg back this time for five, four, three, two, one. Release. Lower down. Move through the cat cow. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, round your back. One more full round. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Hold the cat position. Lift your knees up off the floor. Left knee, left forearm for five, four, three, two, one. Left knee, left collarbone. Five, four, three, two, one. Extend the leg back. The right leg should be. Screaming at you here for four, three, two, one. Release, sit back onto your heels. We'll come right back to the teacup thing for one more. This time, see if you can do both arms at the same time. So the right arm will start, right arm, small circle in, big circle up. As you get to the top of your head, the other hand starts with a small circle. And see if you can sort of catch a flow here. It might feel kind of awkward. See if you can continuously go so the arms never stop and the palms never turn down. If you've already got a long list of quarantine goals, you can just add this one to it. And maybe you speed it up a bit. And then shake it out. <laughs> we'll come into a downward facing dog. Hands at the top of your mat. Really drive down through your hands. Curl your toes under. Lift your hips up and back. Don't take any movement here that feels good for you. Maybe pedaling out the legs. You can sway your hips side to side. Just find a sense of buoyancy here in your down dog. So not feeling too stiff or rigid. If you do come across any feelings of tightness, just try to breathe it out. Finding stillness, turn your heels up to the side just a bit. So lift your heels up, move them out to the side, and then try to press them down. Inhale, take your right leg high. Step your right foot next to your right thumb. Lower your back knee down. I'm gonna come up to this low lunge position. You can keep your back toes tucked under or you can flip the foot. Make sure your left glute muscles are active and strong. Send the hips forward so the right knee can go over the toes as long as the heel doesn't lift up. So try to keep the heel pressing down, the right knee going forward, the hips going forward. Lift your heart up and then interlace your hands overhead except for your pointed fingers. Keep sending your hips forward, keep lifting your heart high and reach your arms back. Moving here to your own degree, so don't worry about what you think it should look like. Allow it to feel good for you. And just breathe. Keep reaching up and back through your arms. Keep lifting your heart high. One more inhale, reach. Exhale, come back through center. Low lunge. Hands at prayer. So hands right at your heart. Twist your body towards the right. And then hook your left tricep around the right thigh. Hands stay at prayer, hands stay at heart center. Spine grows long in the inhale. 
On the exhale, you press your palms together and lift your heart up towards the ceiling. Keep utilizing your breath. Inhale, grow long. Exhale, twist and open. Then inhale, come back to the center. Bring your fingertips down, extend your right leg. You can keep the right knee as bent as you need, but keep pulling back on the right heel. So draw back on the right heel, the toes, right toes towards your nose. Lean your heart out, lean the crown of your head out. And a slight fold or a deep fold. I'm just looking for sensation here. Finding a nice stretch to the back of the right leg, but keep pulling the right heel back so you feel the right leg plug into your right hip. Step your right foot at the top of your mat, curl your back toes under, and step your left foot to join the right foot. Inhale, halfway lengthen, lift your heart. Exhale, fold over your legs, bend your knees as much as you need. You can interlace your hands behind your head or catch opposite shoulders, or just keep your fingertips down for more support. Again, knees as bent as you need. It might be nice to even rest your torso on your thighs. And you could sway side to side, or you could sort of bounce forward and back a little bit. Let any tension in the low back release. If you're clenching your jaw, unclench. Shake your head yes, shake your head no. And then bend your knees a lot. Roll all the way to standing. See how slow you can stand all the way up. So knees are bent, rounding up to standing. Your chin will lift last and then your shoulders up towards your ears and then send them down your back. Inhale, take your arms high. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, plant your hands. Step your left leg back. Lower your left knee down. One inhale, take your arms up and overhead. And then exhale, release your hands down. Frame the foot. Step your right foot back to a plank pose. First plank pose, first vinyasa of our practice. So the vinyasa will do is just lowering down chaturanga. You can also take modified chaturanga with your knees down. So that's a low push-up, elbows pulled in towards the body and peel back. And then cobra, you flip your feet, lift your heart up, sides of your chest move forward and through. Or you can take up dog and then downward facing dog, lift your hips up and back, lengthen your spine. Again, knees can be as bent as you need. Maybe you re-bend the knees a couple times, sway the hips even. And then find a static down dog. Inhale, take your left leg high. Step your left foot next to your left thumb. Lower your back knee down. And then rise up to a low lunge. So the legs are pulling in towards each other. Your right glute muscles are activated. Your hips begin to go forward. Your left knee can go over the left toes. Just trying to lift the left heel up. Take your arms up overhead. Interlace your fingers except for the pointers. Opposite pinky on top. Keep sending the hips forward, lifting your heart high, reaching your arms back. Just keep breathing. If at any point in the practice your mind wanders, just come back to your breath, come back to your intentions. One more inhale here. Exhale, come back to your neutral. So low lunge, hands at prayer, twist your torso towards the left, and then hook your right arm around the left leg. Stack your palms and try to have your elbows in a line with each other. And then use your inhale to lengthen forward, exhale to open and twist. Lengthen your spine, crown of the head moves forward, exhale, twist. And keep the legs active. Stay with your breath. Inhale, come back to center. Bring your fingertips down and extend your left leg out in front of you. 
And again, you're pulling from the heel back. So really dragging the heel back on your mat and your left toes, draw back toward your nose. Lean your heart forward, lean in front of your head forward, reach for along through the spine and then maybe fold over the leg. Just keep breathing. Plant your left foot down at the top of your mat, bend the left knee. Step your right foot forward. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, fold forward over your legs. Hang heavy yet again. Maybe this time you do something different. If you grab the back of your head last night, maybe you just catch opposite elbows or even bring your hands behind your calves, your arms behind your calves, your forearms. And again, you can sway, you can bounce. Just find a nice comfortable fold for a moment or two. Release your arms, inhale halfway, lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise all the way up to standing, reach your arms up overhead. And then exhale, release right back to the forward fold. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, plant your palms. Step your right leg long behind you this time. Lower your right knee down. One inhale up and back. Go the arms. And then exhale, release your hands. Step back to a plank pose. Again, your choice of vinyasa, or you can always skip the vinyasa. For me, I'll be going through chaturanga. Flip my feet for up dog. The sides of my chest go forward and through. And then exhale, toes. Curl under, hips lift up, downward facing dog. Inhale, take your right leg high. We're gonna to start to sort of increase the difficulty as we go on. Step your right foot next to your right thumb. Instead of the low lunge, we'll rise up to a high lunge. So inhale to rise up here. Settle into your lunge position. You can keep your back knee as bent as you need. Sort of see if you can square your hips off towards the front of your mat. And even see if you can find this like tucking of your tailbone underneath you. Feel your low belly pull in and activate. Arms reach high. Inhale, reach. And then exhale, your hands come to your heart. Lean out over your right leg. And then see if you can keep leaning forward until your left leg becomes weightless. And then you lift the left leg up off the floor. So we're in a warrior three position. The heart's lifted. The left heel is lifting. The right leg is strong. Breathe here. Breathe into the instability of your right leg. Feel it shake. That's okay. And then with control, step back to the high lunge. Interlace your hands behind your head. Send your hips forward. Lift your heart high. Press your head into your hands and pull your head forward. So you're creating a sense of resistance here in the front body opening. You should feel a nice opening in the front of the left hip. Keep the left glute muscles active and strong. Hips forward, heart high, head presses back. Breathe in. Exhale, come back to your neutral. Hands at heart center. Twist over toward the right. Hook the left tricep on the outer edge of the right thigh. So we're in the same twisted lunge. Just the back knee is lifted and the back leg is activated. Take an inhale here. Exhale, release through neutral. Hands come down. Send your hips back. Straighten your legs. Lift the sole of your right foot up. You can walk your fingertips back. Don't worry if your back heel is lifted. Totally okay. Lean your heart forward. Reach the crown of your head forward and fold over your right leg. And again, maybe a, a simple sway or a bounce or just a static fold. Whatever feels better for you. From here, we're gonna to try to bring a little bit more activation into this pose. Bend your left knee a lot. So your left knee is hovering just like that tabletop hovering we were doing earlier. Right foot is still lifted off the floor, just the heel is pressing down. Lean your hips back, lift your right hand up and towards your chest. And then see if you can lift your left hand up off the floor for five, 
Keep holding back on the right heel. Four, three, two. One, step the right foot forward. Step the left foot forward. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise and reach. Sweep your arms up and overhead. Exhale, take your right back down to the fold. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, step your left leg back. Rise up, high lunge. Inhale here. Exhale, release your arms down. Step your right foot back. Move through the vinyasa. So again, the vinyasa I'm doing is a chaturanga push up. Inhaling to my upward dog. You can go to cobra, you can also skip vinyasa completely, and then we'll all meet in a down dog. Inhale, take your left leg high. Lunge your left foot next to your left thumb. And then rise up, high lunge position. Again, the right knee can be as bent as you need. Butt muscles strong and active. Hips begin to go forward. Arms reach high. Left knee is stacked over the left ankle, maybe even a little bit past it. Inhale, reach to your fingertips. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart. Press your palms in. Lean out a lot over your left leg. And then a bit more, see if you can become weightless in the right leg and then float it up off the floor. As you lift the right leg up, see if you can straighten your left leg, pulling your abdomen away from your thigh, keep your heart lifting. Find stability here. And then step back with control, high lunge. Interlace your hands behind your head, opposite pinky on top. Again, right glute muscles activated. Send your hips forward, lift your heart high, press your head into your hands and pull your head forward. So again, just creating a slight bit of resistance, back bending to your own degree, but keep on lengthening. So grow long through the crown of the head and then send it back. Stay strong in your legs. One more inhale here. Exhale, come back to neutral, hands to heart center. Twist out, lean out over towards the left. Again, press your palms together, stack your elbows. And keep the right leg strong. So if you sort of feel collapsing in the right leg, see if you can extend it a bit more. Engage the muscles of your thigh. One more inhale. And then exhale, release your hands down. Send your hips far back. So lengthen both legs, send the hips back, lift the sole of the left foot up and walk your fingertips back. Just a bit. Again, we're looking for sensation. So if you kind of feel like you're just hanging out, see if you can go a bit further. See if you can lean your heart out, reach the kind of your head forward. Maybe even drop back on the left toes a bit more. Maybe you're also thinking this is too much. You can also retreat a little bit so you can come up higher or bend the left knee as much as you need. And then again, we're gonna go for a little bit more activation here. So bend the right knee a lot. Right knee comes about three inches away from the floor. Keep pulling back on the left heel. Keep pulling back on the left toes. One hand comes to your heart. See if the other hand can come to your heart for five, four, three, two, one. Step the left foot forward, step the right foot forward. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise and reach. Sweep your arms up and overhead. And then exhale, come right back down to the fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands, step your right leg long. Rise up, high lunge. Breathe in. Breathe out, release. Hands come down, step your left foot back. Move through your vinyasa. Again, we're skipping it right into downward facing dog. From down dog, take a child's pose. Knees can come together. Maybe the feet come together. Sit your hips back towards your heels. Maybe even bring your arms back, your hands back by your feet. And just let your forehead rest for a moment. Just sort of normalizing the energy throughout your body, normalizing your breath. And again, if you've sort of lost sight of your intention, maybe you've started planning um, and comparing and thinking all types of thoughts, just come back to your intention. Bring your 
attention back to your intention, your specific maybe reasons or, or goals of your yoga practice. any stories you, you find yourself retelling or telling yourself either throughout your practice or throughout your daily life, just breathe it out here. Use, use the practice as a way to breathe it out and, and send it out. We'll come back to our downward facing dog. Plant your hands, lift your hips up and back. Again, heels move out, heels press downwards. Then inhale, take your right leg high. Step your right foot next to your right thumb. Rise up to a high lunge position. Keep your arms reaching overhead this time. Inhale, reach. Exhale, lean out a lot. Keep reaching your arms forward, lift your back leg up. Maybe you don't have enough space here, maybe there's a wall in front of you, you can cactus your arms too. So pull your arms into 90 degree angles, engaging the upper muscles of your back. Keep lifting the back leg up. And then exhale, step back, high lunge. Again, bring your hands behind your head, interlace the fingers, hips go forward, heart lifts high, head presses back, hands pull forward. You can also begin to maybe extend your arms back behind you, if that feels okay for your shoulders and your chest, or you can keep your hands behind your head. Whatever's more comfortable, whatever works better for you, take an inhale. And then exhale, lean out, we're coming right into the twist. So hands come through work center, we twist out to the right, hook the left tricep around, press your palms together, lean out, open up. From here, look down towards your right foot, lift your back leg up, so lean out a bit more, lift the left leg up, see if you can bring your left knee towards your left shoulder, and then step it right back. <laughs> Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, fold over your legs, strain both legs, send your hips back. This time keep the sole of the foot flat. So sole of the right foot's flat, hips going back. And again, lean out, fold over your right leg. From here, again, bend your left knee a lot. Keep the sole of your right foot flat. So maybe your left leg is at sort of like a 90 degree angle here. Reach your arms either out in front of you or back behind you for five, four, three, two, one. Step the left foot forward. Use strength, step forward, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold over your legs. Inhale, rise and reach. Sweep your arms up and overhead. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, plunge your palms, step your left leg back. Rise up, high lunge. Inhale to rise. Exhale, arms reach forward. And then, like you're stringing a bow, right arm peels back. Reach your right fingertips back. Broaden through your collarbones. Left fingertips reach forward, right fingertips reach back. Right knees still bent over the right ankle. Stay strong in your legs. And then from here, the right hand finds the back of the left leg, left arm goes high, right arm, right hand slides down the back of the left leg. Breathe, open up the front line of your body. Take an inhale, reach. Exhale, lower the left hand down. Pivot your toes towards the right, right arm reaches high, and then right arm reaches overhead. Keep your hips lifting, breathe. Looks like a modified side plank. And then step your right foot back to join the left foot for side plank. You can keep your right arm reaching overhead or right arm reaching straight upwards. You can take any modifications here, like lowering the bottom knee. And then lower your right hand down. We'll move through a vinyasa or skip it and go right into downward facing dog. Okay. 
Take an inhale through your nose. Exhale, let it go. <sighs> inhale, take the left leg high. Step your left foot next to your left thumb. Rise up high lunge. Again, take an inhale, reach. Exhale, settle into your legs. Inhale, lean forward. And then float the back leg up again. You don't have the space to have your arms extended. Keep them at cactus arms, so like 90 degrees. Engage the upper muscles of your back. Keep your heart lifted. Keep the right heel lifting. And then with control, step the right leg back behind you. Again, hands and joints behind the head. Hips go forward. Right glutes activated. Lift your heart, press your head back. And again, you can reach your arms back behind you if that feels okay for you. Not just keep them behind your head and provide that bit of resistance. Take one more inhale here. Exhale, we twist over to the left. Hands come to your heart center, lean out, twist. Press your palms together. Stack your elbows in a line. And then feel, st uh, feel stable through the left leg. Lean out, float the back leg up. See if you can either stay here or bring the right knee towards your right shoulder. Maybe you touch the shoulder, maybe you don't. Either way, step it back, come back up to the center, straighten your legs and fold over the left leg again. Keep the sole of the left foot flat. Lean your heart out, reach the crown of your head forwards. Keep sending the hips back. It's okay if your back heel is lifted. Smooth out your breathing. And then bend the right knee a lot. Again, you can reach your arms out in front of you or back behind you, but lift them up for five. Find balance here for four, three, two, one. Step the right foot forward. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise and reach. Sweep your arms up and overhead. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, punch your palms. Step your right leg back. Rise up, high lunge. Inhale here, reach. Exhale, arms go forward, and then peel your left arm back, just like you're stringing a bow, just like your Katniss from the Hunger Games. This is the Katniss pose. <laughs> Marta's over there laughing at me, but that movie, those series of movies were excellent. They were super raw. Left hand finds the back of the right leg. Right arm goes up and back and overhead. Breathe in, exhale, lower the right hand down, pivot your toes towards the left, left arm goes high, left arm reaches overhead. Scroll long here to the left side body. Keep reaching to the left fingertips. And look down, step your left foot to stack over the right foot. Left arm can go high, or you can keep reaching overhead, whatever feels more normal for you. We just hold side plank for a few moments. Lower your left hand down, move through a vinyasa or skip it, and go into downward facing dog. Last little bit of, of push, last little bit of activation. Bend your knees, lift your heels, look forward, step, jump, hop, float to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose. So seat goes back, hips go back, seat goes low, heart lifts high, arms reach. Lift up onto your toes. So lift your heels up off the floor, move your knees out away from each other just a little bit, and then bring your hands down to the mat. Uh, the knees will stack on the tops of the elbows, so you'll bend your arms, knees to the tops of the elbows, you can readjust as you go along. Crow pose will hold here for five, lift your hips high, four, three, Two, one, land your feet down. <sighs> Squat pose. It's okay to have your heels lifted here. And maybe your fingertips down for support. Totally fine. Maybe move around a little bit. Maybe use one arm to sort of nudge the leg open a bit. And then switch. If you do have your heels down, this might be a bit more comfortable for you. And we're just moving side to side. <laughs> so 
And then from here, very simply just step the left leg back, lower the left knee down. And then we're in a lizard lunge. Your hands can stay um, keeping you elevated or maybe you lower down to your forearms. Keep your spine as long as you can. And then maybe at the end of it, you tuck your chin slightly in toward your chest to get a little bit of rounding. Hopefully I didn't sweat into my water glass too much. Come back up onto your hands. Reach your right arm forward, like it's not, like, anyways, right arm goes high, right arm reaches back, bend your left knee. You can either catch the foot here or keep the foot pulling in towards your butt and reaching for the foot. It used to be, oh, cue was shake someone's hand, like reach out, you're gonna shake someone's hand, but we don't, we don't do that anymore. Not even fist bumps today. Release the foot or let the foot go down. Bring your right arm back forward. You can sit back towards your left heel, half splits, or maybe you're working variation towards the full splits, or if you've got the full splits, you can go into full splits. And then from this half splits, we'll kind of, we'll sit up in a kneeling position. So we're on the right heel and the left leg, the left shin, the left knee to the top left foot. See if you can reach your arms forward, lift your right leg up, lower it down. Lift it up, lower down, maybe your arms go to the side for more support. Lift your right leg up, last time. Three, two, one, lower down. See if you can lift your right leg up and then set it next to the left. So we'll come into a camel pose. Your hands come to the backs of your ribs. Fingers can point forward, or you can bring your hands to your low back area. We get fingers pointed down. I like to bring my hands to the backs of my ribs. Lift your heart up. Keep your hips over your knees, maybe even a little bit past your knees. Lift your heart high. Reach the crown of your head back. Camel to your degree. Just breathe here. Whatever comfortable camel position or whatever camel position is comfortable for you. And then release, sit back onto your heels. Take a moment, sit nice and tall. And then we'll come back up. We'll step the right leg back out, bring your hands down, and then heel toe, walk your right foot over to the left side of your mat. Lower your right knee down on the right side of your mat. Keep your foot slightly flexed here, and then begin to sit into a pigeon pose. You can extend your left leg back behind you a bit, looking to square the hips off your mat. If you've got anything to stack up underneath your right leg, if you need any props to do so, really looking to square the hips and find a comfortable working position in pigeon pose. You can bring your forearms down to the mat. If you can go further, maybe your chest comes down to the mat. Or maybe you just make a pillow with your arms or a block or a book or a pillow, an actual pillow for your forehead to come down onto.
back up onto your hands. Sit your right side hip down, and then extend your left leg out. We're gonna to turn towards the back of our mat. Bring the right foot to the inner left thigh. Walk your hands over the left leg, and just unfold here over the extended left leg. John, your chair, Shasana. I really appreciate you all showing up today to practice, um, to hang out. Um, I know Zoom is, is full of yoga classes and fitness classes at this current moment in, in life. Um, and I know I could have been teaching classes online and, and a little bit better but, uh, with, with doing that before this whole crisis. Um, but I'm glad that this sort of sparked. I uh, guess my fire to share. So hopefully we'll continue, we will continue to do these um, either weekly or monthly classes, um, even after the, after the coronavirus. Come back up, walk your hands around, and we're just going to extend the left leg up and over the right leg. So we cross the leg, step the right leg back, lower the right knee down, lizard lunge on the second side. into the right knee. You can either catch the foot or be reaching the foot, pulling the foot into over your body. Either way, trying to stay slightly active. And then release the foot. Sit back towards your right heel, half splits. You can sit all the way back towards your right heel, or you can stay more elevated, or maybe working towards your Full split, full split, or somewhere in between half and full, three quarters. Maybe it's sixty percent. Maybe it's only fifty-five percent. Imagine and tell myself everyone is laughing at home. We'll come up into a kneeling sort of position. We'll lift the left leg, lower the left leg. Lift, lower. Lift, lower. Last time, lift and hold for five, four, three, two, one. Release. Set the left foot and the right uh, left leg next to the right leg. We'll come back into one more round of camel pose. So hands can come to the backs of your ribs. Or maybe this time you bring your hands down the, the backs of your legs and you catch onto your heels. I'm gonna keep my hands at the backs of my ribs and not go too far today. Heart lifts high, head reaches back. Crown of the head reaches back. Again, the same idea we were doing in the earlier lunges. Hips stay forward, heart lifts high, head reaches back, breathe in. And exhale, breathe, release it back onto your heels. Take a moment. Okay. 
hips up, step the left foot forward, bring your hands down and then walk your left foot over to the right side of your mat. Lower your left knee down off the left side of your mat. Again, looking to square the hips, right foot is maybe just outside of the, the or left foot is just outside of the right hip point. Square the hips, walk your right leg back as much as you need and prop up your left leg as much as you need. Find a nice comfortable work in pigeon pose. here in Pigeon. Right in the chat. Uh, Sorry about that. Everyone's muted. Um, we'll come back up, swing the left hip down, and then right leg towards the front of your mat. Just take Johnny Shirshasana on the right side, so walk your hands over the right leg, lean out, find a nice hold. Again, not too far, not too deep here, just looking for a bit of sensation. out of the top of your mat. You can scoot your seat back, walk your hands forward, fold over both legs, Paschimottanasana, seated forward bend. Plant your feet and then just lie down onto your back. Hug your right knee in toward your chest, extend your left leg long, and then guide your right knee over to the left side. We'll take a nice simple twist, extend your right arm out to the right, gaze over your right shoulder. And maybe you scoot your hips towards the center of your mat just a little bit. Soften the muscles throughout your body. Can you soften the muscles behind your eyes? And come back to your center, hug your right knee in, and then extend your right leg and hug your left leg in. Guide your left knee over towards the right, scoot your hips towards the center of the mat. And use your top arm, use your right hand to twist a bit deeper, extend your left arm, 
engage up the left shoulder. Come back to your center, hug your left knee in, and then hug your right knee in as well. Option to stay here or maybe take a happy baby pose. You can catch the instep or the outer edges of your feet. Pull your knees in towards your armpits. You can move side to side or extend your legs out to the side at a time, one at a time. Just whatever feels nice for you. And then from the happy baby, catch onto the fronts of your feet. So catch onto your toes. And see if you can extend your legs overhead. So kind of like plow pose, but this is Sukta Paschimottanasana. So it's the same forward bend that we were in the seated forward bend. This word reclined, now Sukta reclined. Knees can come over the, the eyes or close to the eyes. Maybe the hands and feet land. And then from here, very simply and slowly, just Bring your lower back down, release the hold on your toes, and extend your legs towards the corners of your mat. You can keep your arms reaching up overhead, or you can bring your hands down by your sides, palms turning up. And then exhale, let it all go. Close your eyes. comfortable resting position. You can scan your body.
feel free to stay in this resting position for as long as you would like or as long as you need today. But if you are ready to begin the rest of your day, you can slowly begin to bring movement back into your body, starting with maybe just your hands and your feet, with them just fingertips and the toes. You can roll out your wrists and your ankles. Take a big morning stretch, reach your arms, extend your legs. Simply just roll over to one side or the other. And then press your way up to a comfortable seated position in your own time. Allow your eyes to stay closed. Still sitting up nice and tall. Heart elevated, shoulders relaxed. Notice and observe the, the effects of your practice. Notice the differences from the subtle to the more obvious, and back to the subtle, and everywhere in between, anything in between. Bring your hands together in front of your heart. Press your palms in, pull your thumbs in towards your chest. Lift your heart and bow your chin. Bring your attention back to your intentions. Honor all of your efforts. Honor your practice. Take an inhale through your nose. Exhale, side out. Inhale, lift your chin high. Exhale, let it go. Inhale. Release. Thank you all so much for sharing your practice with me and for letting me share my practice with you. Namaste.